Okay, uh, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited. If you've been watching our YouTube channel, um, I think it's probably back from 04. Doing uh, videos for a long, long time and been doing Jeep parts for a good portion of that. So, um, we're Jeeps Unlimited. We're based out of Colorado. We used to be in Denver. We're not now on the Western Slope. We were trying to get a little warmer, wet, 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 warmer winters and now we are in a record... Uh, cold winter right now so it's like 22 degrees out here my hands are freezing anyway um no we got out of denver for a few reasons one it just got too crazy it was just the traffic and um we lost some business down there by not having the local population but we ship everything and uh, whatnot so um that's us 303-666-9020 um we have a big jeep yard that's empty well we do have about 47 Jeeps. We do a lot of Wranglers and CJs, um, but we do have our Grand Cherokees and everything else. And then we have our mess, mess around vehicles over there. So um, we do everything. We're mainly a Jeep yard. Um, Jeepsunlimited.net, you can view these tubs or others like it um, on there. They do, these do sell fast. So if you see this video, you know, a few months down the road or even a few days down the road, they're likely um, somebody's got dips on them. Uh, but give us a call. We might still have something. We create everything out. We do ship tubs. Uh, we've been shipping for about 10 years. We know what to do with those. You're not going to get something that's going to be messed up or take a big chance there. Okay. So what am I doing with this video? Well, I like to do these comparison videos when I learn something. And even after um, about 12 years of doing nothing but Jeeps, I learned something. I try to say every day, but it's not true. Um, but I do learn something every once in a while. And usually it's a buddy or even a customer that tells me I'm wrong. And, uh, and I'm quick to say, uh, oh, okay, well, let me look into that. So I don't, I don't try to do the argumentative thing and whatnot because a lot of times I am wrong. So in this case, it was. So what I did is I listed these tubs, uh, these CJ5. These are the, the, the last um, generation of CJ5s. I listed these as uh, 7683. And while that is um, kind of correct and you can use these uh, on that range, there are some subtle differences. And if you're wanting to know, or you're out looking at Jeeps and wanting to know how to identify something, maybe something doesn't look right to you. Uh, maybe somebody swapped a VIN number around. Um, and, and really that's completely your call if that matters to you or not. But if it doesn't matter to you, um, you know, then who cares, right? Change the things up and, and go from there. If it does matter to you, uh, these are how you identify the two differences, Raymond, you want to see real quick? I'm yes, doing this video. This okay, this is really easy once I've seen this. So um, there are probably some other things I'm missing, but the very first thing here uh, is going to be this guy, okay? Your filler necks, okay? Your late filler necks are going to be square, more than likely. Again, th th there's some things that may not, somebody might change something. And then your early ones are going to be this early round style. Okay, that's a real easy one, and you walk upon a vehicle to see that right away. Um, the other things that you're gonna notice that are different about them. At the bottom side is, is pretty much the same, okay? There's nothing on there. Um, the tunnel cover, okay? Wait, and I'll flip this over and show you from the top side too, but I wanna see the tunnel cover is got a different cutout on these guys. Um, now, now, some one of my customers told me that that's gonna de depend on the transmission, but I can't imagine Jeep, uh, when they die, cut these or whatever they call that, um, do that, that that's different. Uh, because it just cost of production would be too high. So slightly different, okay? That's pretty solvable. That's really solvable because you can put it, just find the tunnel cover you need. We sell those, so that's not a big deal. And then the other thing, the last thing that I noticed, and my customer, well, he's a buddy customer. Can you help me put these down? Um, uh, he's going to quiz me on this later, so I'm hoping I get this right. <laughs> but uh, the last thing, and I, and I should have been aware of this. Go ahead and put that one down too. Um, because this was an obvious one, because we're always really we sell heater boxes, and heater boxes uh, are different on these two. So again, easy to modify this, but it's going to be where that heater box goes. Now look at that heater box hole here, right? And that's where your motor goes. Okay, that's where the motor sticks out of your heater box. And now look at this one. Now we know Ray knows that that's Ray over there. He's one of my partners out here. He knows that 76, 79 heater boxes. Do not work on later CJs. You can make them work, but they're not bolt in. And that's the other key difference on here. So you may ask, well, 
shoot, I found the tub, maybe it's this one, and I wanna use it on an early one, that era, okay? Well, you can do that, it's not that hard. Um, you can either modify everything, if, if, you're, if you're wanting to stick with original, you can modify and adapt it so it looks like original one, or you can buy the heater box for the, for the later one, um, or in that case, the early one. Um, you know, same thing back here. I mean, these, are, these things are super, super easy to do. Um, so we have a comparison on YJs and CJs as well. So definitely take a look at that. But I think this was a good one. Um, we both learned something and that we probably should have known years ago. But mainly the reason that is, and I'm not making an excuse up, but I am. Um, these are really nice tubs. These both came out of Arizona. The reason I say that is because in about 10 years that we've been selling uh, uh, tubs and frames, we've been doing parts for over 35 years, but but tubs and frames, we start specializing in about 10 years ago. We probably had five, I, I shit you not, excuse my French, but I five CJ5 tubs that have been quality enough to waste, to not waste time on and to photo like we do and list like we do um, that are worth it. These are them. And then and, and of that, and there's probably three more out there. In, in 10 years, these are the very, very, very rare tubs um, to get clean. I mean, we get them all the time. They're just completely thrashed. And we're in a rust-free zone, and we still see these things thrashed. So... Uh, these are clean tubs. I mean that one's got a couple things on it. You can watch the specific video on these if you've if you've caught this early enough. Otherwise, I'm not sure how long these will last. Um, but that's that's that. So again, Jeremy Jeeps Unlimited. Um, if there's another comparison video you like us to do that we might have uh, have sitting out here amongst these guys, you know, shoot us an email, give us a call. Be happy if I have the time. Um, set some time aside do that i like these comparison videos they're key they're helpful people like them and whatnot so definitely check a look at our website um it's you know not everything is listed so if you don't see it on there give us a call 303-666-9020 you're going to talk to that guy right there that's ray and uh he's out busy working in the yard but he also answers our phones um you can send us an email sales at jeepsunlimited.net or any of our names jeremy at jeepsunlimited.net ray at jeepsunlimited.net kira that's my wife so um and yeah and we'll go from there so appreciate it and thank you for taking a look and uh help you know help me understand and, and learning with me hopefully